at 8 o'clock, we got Missouri State, who went 5-6, and six, traveling to Kansas, who went 6-7. and seven. Kansas favored by 20 points on ESPN+. Plus. Kansas actually had my favorite bowl game last year. Kansas-Arkansas was... Uh, inarguably, in my opinion, the best bowl game you got to watch. As long as you don't, me- if you don't care about like the playoff implications, obviously, Michigan TCU was a lot of fun, and obviously, Ohio State Georgia was a hell of a lot of fun. But if we're talking about non, like this is arguably one of the most compelling and one of the most interesting games. Uh, Kansas have an insane 16 point comeback in not a lot of time to send it to overtime. I think it goes to triple overtime. It was an insane ending. It was an insane game. So many times the game could have ended, it should have ended, but Arkansas kept finding ways to keep it alive. They ended up winning that game instead of Kansas. It was a crazy game. Um, Kansas, though, returns their star quarterback, a Jalen Daniels, who went 152 at 280, threw for 2014 yards, 18 touchdowns to four interceptions. And this is, he did not play a lot of the year. Like, he missed out on a whole bunch of the year, which kind of makes sense, but he still put up insane numbers if you take that into consideration. Devin Neal on the ground had 180 carries for 1,090 yards and 9 touchdowns, and Lawrence Arnold had 44 catches for 716 yards and 4 touchdowns. Before Jalen Daniels got hurt, this was a undefeated football team entering a game with TCU, and they still barely lost to TCU with Jalen Daniels going down. This was a TCU team that made the playoffs. This is an insanely good Kansas team. And sure, TCU, they eked by in a lot of football games, right? Like, the Baylor game is a perfect example. They eked by in the Kansas game. They did not win the Texas game by a whole hell of a lot of points. And then the Kansas State game in the regular season could have easily been a Kansas State victory if Kansas State has their first string or second string quarterback. They instead rock with their third string for most of that game, which is how they lost. And they had a huge lead before that point. There was a lot of moments where TCU could have lost, and they, there was a lot of moments where they barely escaped. Kansas was one of those moments. And I don't think TCU barely escapes if Jalen Daniels uh, plays this entire football game. Jalen Daniels is an insanely great player. This is the first time you're going to get to see him. you got to tune in if you have ESPN+. Plus. I understand there are the other closer games probably going on at the same time. Louisville at Georgia Tech is probably going to be a hell of a, close, a lot closer of a game. And then Miami, Ohio, Miami, it shouldn't be super interesting. Central Michigan and Michigan State also shouldn't be super interesting, but they are Power 5 football teams. These are football teams that you got to think have a better chance of at least a playoff berth than Kansas does. But Kansas has a good football team. They're not in a super strong Big 12 this year. They should be competing for a Big 12 title. Uh, Lance Leipold has really built some culture in Lawrence. I'm really excited to see what they can do. Give me Kansas to win and cover the 20-point spread.